So, here we go with another look at the Skylanders video game. This time we're going to review one of the expansion packs for the game, the Pirate Seas Adventure. And, backed by popular demand, we have our own resident Skylanders expert on board, with the one and only, Little Daddy E. Hello to you all again. Well, if you place this pirate ship toy in the port of power, then an actual pirate ship will appear at the docks of the game's main hub. Boarding it will take you to an all new area in the game, the Pirate Seas Adventure, which is surprisingly quite a large size and will certainly keep you busy for a few hours. As you progress throughout the Pirate Seas Adventure, you'll be challenged by various pirates to a memory card game where you must find and match the same card. You'll start off with a deck of six or so cards, but later on you'll be playing this game with decks of cards numbering more than 20. It's a fun challenge and the time limit to beat each pirate isn't too strict, so younger players shouldn't find it difficult to master these mini-games. You want her back? You'll need to beat me poop deck! What? Oh, you meant, um, never mind. Like the rest of the main game, the Pirate Seas Adventure has its own bonus items to find, such as the legendary treasure and power-up hats. All in all, it's, it's great fun. Exclusive to the Pirate Seas Adventure Pack is the Terrafin figure, one of the most strikingly designed characters of the entire Skylanders range, mainly because he looks like a giant freaking shark. He reminds me a lot of the Street Sharks, which was a cartoon and toy line back in the mid-90s. But surely this guy should be a water element character? Well, no, he's an earth element character. Turns out that he's a land shark. That makes no sense at all. I'm confused! Unlike the three characters that you got with the starter pack, who all had some sort of long-range projectile to beat the bad guys, Terrafin prefers to get up close and personal with his fins. Um, I mean fists. He also has the unique ability to swim underground and burst out underneath enemies for surprise attacks. While he's under the ground, he's actually avoiding the enemy's attacks, which will come in particularly useful later on in the game, when you're facing off against multiple enemies and during the boss fights. Why didn't I think of that? That's all part of the Skylanders appeal. Each character is truly unique. Terrafin is a powerhouse, but he's going to struggle against quicker foes. So you might want to switch to a quicker Skylander, like Zap, for example. What I particularly like about Terrafin is that he hums the theme tune to Jaws while he's swimming under the ground. <laughs> oh, and he can also launch baby sharks at his enemies too. That's messed up, seriously. You don't have to just use Terrafin on the Pirate Seas Adventure. If you like, you can take Terrafin through the main game and have some of your other Skylanders play through the Pirate Adventure. You get a couple of other special items to help you on your quest. Again, not only can you use these in the Pirate Seas Adventure, but also in the main game too. Placing the Ghost Swords on the Portal of Power will make two ghostly swords appear around the Skylander of choice, attacking any enemies who were unfortunate or dumb enough to get in your way. They do have a time limit, however, and will only last around two minutes per level before their power is expelled. Returning to the main hub world will restore their power. This item really comes into its own during the boss battles, as the damage they can inflict is immense, even in comparison to the damage that a level 10 Skylander can manage. It's almost worth picking up the Pirate Seas Adventure Pack just for these swords, but that's not all. Indeed, you also get the Hidden Treasure. If you place this on the Portal of Power, it'll bring up an icon on the bottom of the screen, representing a hidden treasure chest. When all three circles on this icon are glowing, it means that there's some hidden treasure to be found, and this will magically appear as soon as you're stood in the right place. So it's kind of like a metal detector for treasure that the Skylanders can use. This will certainly come in handy for picking up some extra coinage throughout the game, so you can continue to level up your Skylanders. In conclusion, these are all fantastic additions to the main game and we can't recommend this enough. If you're looking for a way to extend your adventures with the Skylanders Young Portal Master, then look no further than the Pirate Seas Adventure Pack. A horrible hearties. Now then, you scurvy landlubbers, which Skylander figure would you like us to review next? Please leave suggestions in the comments box below, or you can follow the links to our Facebook and Twitter pages and leave suggestions there. Choose from either Ghost Roaster with the Dark Light Crypt Adventure Pack. Shop Shop. Boomer. Stealth. Drobot. Oz. Rah! Uh, we can stop doing that now. Oh, sorry. Potato! Beware, coward. <laughs>